Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we made sure that we can only delete our own posts. In this video, we'll start with implementing all the functionality we need to edit posts. Now, I want to edit posts that, in a way, that and when you click on edit, well, unfortunately, I don't have a post here. Okay, that if I have a post, let me create one, a post, which I can edit. When I click this button, I want to, a modal to appear. And in this modal, I want to be able to edit it, hit save changes, and then save the changes by using Ajax. So we'll start with the modal, head over to Bootstrap, because good thing is here under JavaScript, well, we get a modal and we're just going to use this. So copy this code, and obviously you could always design it all yourself if you want to. I'm just focusing on the lateral part here. So in my dashboard, I'm just copying this at the very bottom. And I'm renaming this to edit post, the modal title here. And then the rest can stay. We're going to edit the body here in a second. First, I want to do two more things which I need to do. I need to import JavaScript here for the modal to work since modals use JavaScript. So I'm just fetching this bootstrap JavaScript uh, CDN import here and I'm pasting this in my master file um, at the bottom here, just before my body tags, tag ends. Here I'm pasting the bootstrap JavaScript and we'll also need jQuery. Therefore, I'm also fetching the link on the jQuery website their CDN. And I'm importing them right above Bootstrap here. Good. So now we got that set up. And now let's make sure our Bootstrap actual, <laughs> our modal actually opens. So in my dashboard, I want to open the modal when I click my edit button here. Now, in order to do this, we need to hook up this edit button with, well, an event listener. And I think the easiest way to do this is first, let me create a new folder under public source, where we store our, well, public source files called JS, which will hold our JavaScript files. And here I will create my app.js file. So in my app.js file, I'll select this button Now, how can we select this button? Well, let's have a look at our DOM. I think I'm going to take that route where I select my post class here. So those articles, these articles we're creating. Then I'll find the interaction class in it. I'll access all the children, which are these um, anchor tag elements here. And then I'll take the third children. That will be the route I'm taking here. Now you might use whatever, maybe better route you have. I'm just going to get this done quickly here. So let me access my posts or post, all my single posts in this case. Then I want to find the interaction class, which will hold our anchor tags. There I will find my anchor tag. Here I will select the third child, so equal to to two, the index which begins at zero, and then I have my on click method here, where I will execute a function. And in this function here, well, I want to output it works to just check if well if it works. So let me let me reload my page and open up my Dev Tools, and now I want to click Edit, and I see it works in the console. Great. So that's working and now I want to open my modal here. So back in my dashboard, I should give my modal a class um, or an ID to be precise. And I will call it ID edit modal. So this will be the ID of my modal. And then I can use jQuery again to well select it, edit modal. And then I can just call the modal function save this, refresh, hit edit. Great, here's our modal. So that is opening. Last thing I want to do is I will just well add this, this text box to this modal. And I will do this in my dashboard here again. And then here I'm just creating a new form. 
don't need the action, don't going to do this with JavaScript anyway. And then here I will create a new form group, which is just a div with the class form group, a bootstrap class. I will have my label uh, for yeah um, post body. And this will be added the post. And then I will have my text area element which uh, will give a name of post body here. Post body. Don't need columns. I will give it five rows though. And yeah. Need to add a class before I forget it. So this class should be form control. Bootstrap class again to make it look nice. Let me reload. Add it. Looks good. In the next video we're actually filling in our post content of the post we're opening here. And then we also have to make sure that we can actually change and save those changes. So, see you in the next videos. Bye.